bonjour! Today I want to show you my travel sketchbook from Spain. I've been spending a complete week in the south of Spain, in Granada, Sevilla and Malaga. And I want to show you how I did this sketchbook and what I've been using to paint it. Sketchbooks are really a good way to make a travel memories. It's so much more powerful than just photos because when you flip through the pages years after, everything is coming back to your mind. This is really great. I love it. Let me show you what I've been taking with me for this short trip of a week. So I've been using a small sketchbook. You can tell with my hand. It's a square format. I love it because it's very handy, you can have it in your bag. And this is a Hanmul, sorry about the way I say it. It's a tone watercolor book, 60 pages, which is a lot, if you ask me. What I took with me in a small pouch is a Criterion, very important, so you can make your first sketches with an eraser and a uh, waterproof fine black felt so it's easy to place watercolor on top of it a brush pen that i barely use actually two white felt and pen just because the paper is toned some brushes with the water inside this is so convenient when you are uh, traveling three watercolor pencils, ochre green blue, no not this one, I didn't take it, and uh, titanium white gouache, and my little watercolor box with very few colors, and it's just the way I use it, I don't clean it, I just squeeze a bit of titanium white here, so I can make some opaque mixes. Uh, sometimes it's very convenient, and also I can use uh, plain white on the toned paper. And before going, I've been just writing down what I'm using in this sketchbook. It's very important because maybe in a couple of years I will go somewhere else and I want to do the same thing. So it's important if I can find back what I've been using here. So let me show you. Uh, this is a front page and I've just been cutting something from a touristic map. No, nothing fancy. The first day we were at the airport and I was just drawing my husband and my daughter using this uh, pigma brush it's a very nice brush but i feel it's a bit too large for the size of the sketchbook so i've barely used it after and you can tell there is a bit of the gel pen here for the white the highlight so everything's in french and it's not really important what's written on the pages uh, first morning, I had some very strange stuff to me for the breakfast, so I just pasted the labels and I forgot to tell you, I brought with me a stick of glue. Then, this is the view from the window at the hotel. Not a very good view, I would say. Um, it just took a couple of minutes while I was waiting for the others to be ready before we are moving somewhere else. So very rough, nothing really fancy. I was just drawing with a pencil for the general outline and just used a bit of black felt here and there. And I like to indicate where there is some noise, some specific noise, and here it was the cars. Then we've been to um, exotic garden and it was really overwhelming a lot of flowers a lot of different leaves and it was really too much i didn't want to bother anyone when we were walking that's a problem when you are in family or with friends you don't want to stop and sit for 15 minutes and draw so i've just been drawing this when we were having a drink after the visit and i just draw what was around us actually only the plants that were around the cafe. There is a little video to show you that. And I wanted to make some tries, so I crushed a bit of the flower directly on the sketchbook, but it's 
a strange color, <laughs> actually. This was a lunch and there was a um, big family event next to us and the boy was really cute. So I drew the boy and the olives and the water and everything we've been eating that was fried. So I don't like to draw uh, just plates of food. So I thought it was much more fun to just draw the vegetables getting inside um, boiling oil. Then we moved to Granada and we had a sumptuous, really gorgeous view from the Airbnb and we were watching just the Alhambra. It was ah, so great. So I had time to do that just on site. What I do is first I do a first sketch with the pencil, then I add the watercolor and then I go back on top with the felt to give more dimension, more details. And um, what about those two? Those two were made from photos because I had no time to do it. And obviously I'm on the photo. I don't know if it's so obvious, but it's me with my husband. And I put the photo right here so you can tell it's not exactly the same. I just wanted to have the idea of the roses behind us. It was really a great time. And this one too, I did it from a photo after when I was at the apartment in the evening waiting for something, I don't know what. Still the Alhambra from a photo too, and this also from a photo was a lot of dripping to show the amount of flowers we saw. It was really great to see. Inside the Alhambra, there is a small museum and we are not allowed to take photos. So I just took my sketchbook with me with a pencil and I drew those three things just to get an idea, an overall idea of it and added the color later. Then we had uh, a drink in Terras. We were waiting for the restaurant to open at 1.30. This is really insane for us in France. We are stopping eating at 1.30, not beginning, but that's the way it is in Spain. And actually it's really cool to change the way you live when you are on vacation. And then we had the Korean restaurant. I know it's not very Spanish, but we don't have it where we live in France. So it was really a good way to do it. And I just drew the plate and the little stuff inside the I don't know what to call that, a rectangular plate with the logo of the restaurant. Then another view from the terrace, but this time it's the other way around. Just been drawing always the same thing and I've been using titanium white in the sky just to show there was a bit of clouds. And I love the blue of the sky. I think it's a very important part of the city. Here it's Cordoba, it's the um, cathedral. It's very, very overwhelming with hundreds and thousands of columns. And I didn't want to add color because I think it's way enough. Then we went to Sevilla and this one was drawn on site as well. This is the view from the Alcazar while we were drinking something just to show um, the overwhelming amount of leaves and trees and everything. And then we went back to the apartment and we've been eating some pastries and I just cut off the paper around the pastries and cut it, paste it in here. If you ask me if it's a good way to have a page easily and quickly. Then another palace, it's painted on site as well. And this is from a restaurant, just a view on the terrace. And here I made a try to paint directly without any drawing before. And it's actually quite fun to do. So I wanted to keep the freshness of it and didn't add any drawing on top. And then we took the car to go to Ronda and this is painted from the car. And you don't want to do it when the road is turning this way and this way. I was almost sick, so I had to stop. Then this is um, painted on site while eating. The view was really overwhelming and it doesn't show really. This one is not very good. 
Then Malaga with another huge palace called the Alcabaza. Then I've been pasting some bits and pieces of newspaper, of tickets, of anything. I wanted to fill my sketchbook and I almost did it. Not quite, but that's fine. Actually, I'm happy with it. I think it's a really good memory and I have a lot, a lot of other sketchbooks. Very different from this one. Each one is different because each trip is different and I am different each time. I hope you like it and let me know in the comments. Are you doing travel sketchbooks as well? I'm interested to know it. See you soon. Bye-bye. Au revoir.